Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls Lore Through. <clears throat> we uh, just defeated our Knight Ortorius, and we're going to investigate um, Ulysil. But uh, now that we've rested here, we can see that there's someone now in, uh, in uh, the Colosseum where we fought Artorius. And there look, seems to be a, uh, a little grave here, the flower and the, uh, the fringe, <laughs> or the little plume uh, from Artorius' uh, hat, <laughs> helm. Uh, so let's see who this is. You. Is that not the soul of the man who fell on this spot? He was a dear friend. I wish to pay proper respect with that soul. Would you be willing to part with it? Um, so you can make a weapon from um, <clears throat> the soul, or you can get her weapons if you give her the soul. I prefer her weapons, uh, so we're going to give it to her. Thank you. You are very kind. Please take this. I no longer need it. Dark Silver Tracer and Gold Tracer. May the Lord guide thee. Yeah, so, um, let's see what this says. A dark silver dagger used by the Lord's Blade Tiaran, Kiaran, of Gwyn's Four Knights. The victim is first distracted by dazzling streaks of the gold tracer, then stung by the vicious poison of this dagger. Poison. Ooh, Dex is S. Hmm. That might be fun to play around with. Curved sword used by the Lord's Blade, Ciaran. Ciaran, one of the Lord Gwyn's four knights. Ciaran brandishes her sword in a mesmerizing dance, etching darkness with dire streaks of gold. So yeah, this is, um, so first of all, this is Lord's Blade, Ciaran, um, that it was in love with Artorius, um, or at least, you know, deeply respected him. We do find, um, a behind, uh, Artorius's grave in the present, where we fought Sif, we did find the uh, Hornet Ring. One of the special rings granted to the Four Knights of Gwyn, the Hornet Ring belonged to the Lord's Blade Ciaran. By boosting critical attack, its wear can annihilate foals, and Ciaran's dagger laid waste to Lord Gwyn's enemies. So, uh, two quick things. So, this is where we fought Sif. Um, as mentioned before, or very close. Um, it would be, I mean, I guess I don't, I would, I always thought that it was, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, I guess it's the, um, it's where the sanctuary is, which is not where his grave is, but it's very close. And she obviously is praying at his grave here, and she continues to do so. Um, Actually, there is, looks like an image of a sun on the uh, gravestone. But, um, so, I'm just going to, you know, for lack of abstractions or whatever, we, you know, we killed Sif, or we killed um, Artorius here, and then Sif, you know, guards the gravestone, uh, which is erected where we killed him, or at least close by. She also says that she doesn't need the um, she doesn't need the uh, blades anymore. And um, if we read uh, the uh, horn ring, Siren's dagger laid waste to Lord Gwyn's enemy. So um, I would have think I would have thought that. So one thing that is interesting um, that I've been thinking about is that you know Ornstein and Go are both large. Uh, Go is, uh, or Goth, is a giant. And, um, 
Artorius and Ciaran are like humans. Uh, you know, Artorius is big, but that's because I, I think that both Artorius and uh, Ornstein are big because of souls that they possess. But what I mean is, is that um, they probably were humans after the war with the dragons. And um, and so it, it's interesting because it specifically doesn't say that Kiaran fought any dragons. It says that she fought the foes of Lord Gwyn, which could be dragons, um, but also could be anyone who opposed the gods. Um, but now that Artorius is dead, uh, it probably ends... Um, it's the end of an era. And so she gives up her daggers because uh, she's like, I'm not, I don't need these anymore. May the Lord guide. Um, and yeah, we're going to try to um, fight her. <laughs> you humans, always taking what you please, then I shall do the same. I mean, I said Artorius and Kieran were humans. I guess I should. They're probably not humans. Because um, they, yeah, she mentions, like, you humans do this, blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, you can see that she dances in a similar manner than the painting guardians, and... I wonder if they're related at all. <laughs> she hit me with the Lloyd's talisman. Nice. And she throws a. Uh, she throws the. Um, yeah, she's very powerful. Damn. Um, she throws the. Uh, the uh, daggers just like the painting guardians. So, I don't know, I think she probably trained the, uh, the painting guardians. But how? You humans, my dear Artorius. You humans, my dear Artorius. So, okay, I, I probably shouldn't have said Artorius and Kiaran were humans, because, I mean, I knew that there was this text that is, like, as Elizabeth says, and she says, I guess I meant they weren't giants, or they weren't old ancient beings, um, like uh, Goth and potentially um, Ornstein, who fought against the dragons, specifically, who have weapons to do so and have means to do so. Um, but, yeah, so she doesn't like humans and she doesn't like what we've done uh, and we get her uh, oops we get her set I'm defeating her mask of the Lord's blade Ciaran one of Gwyn's four knights the Cyclops headpiece is common to all of the Lord's blades but Ciaran was determined to earn this soft porcelain mask as a unique decoration of honor. The mask is lined with ivory locks of hair. A robe common to all of the Lord's blades. These deadly women shift nimbly between layers of darkness, etching streaks of gold into the night air and planting visions of terror into the minds of their targets. So it's interesting because we see that there are, um, you know, Gwyn's Four Knights, but we also see that there's the Lord's Blades, um, who specifically are probably doing the same as Ciaran, which is, um, you know, defeating Gwyn's foes. But, but it seems that Ciaran probably was the leader of that group. Um, I don't know. And there are the painting guardians, which uh, certainly could be the Lord's Blades, like in a different time. So, I don't know. Interesting to think about what would protecting the uh, the 
the painting have to do with uh, um, the Lord's blades? I mean, except if you were to consider the uh, oh, come on the thing I was mentioning in the Ariamis episode, which is that um, they they could be potentially trying to keep things in. So um, Priscilla, Velka, and all the people in the uh, um, painting of Ariamis are potentially um, enemies of Gwyn. So they might be waiting for people to come out and uh, and kill them there. And that's the only thing that they've been left to do. Um, like, that's all that's left of the Lord's Blades, especially since the Lord is gone. He went to go kindle the fire. I thought I could get past him. Whoops. <laughs> Backstabbed the wrong person. There we go. Uh, these guys both drop their heads. Uh, which I'd love to get. But we'll see. I guess I probably need to... A lot of crazy noises. I'm kind of missing them, but we can hear. Um, yeah, I'm gonna break it. Yeah, that's fine. I probably <laughs> it won't need it. Um, but we can hear a woman screaming, as well as these guys. I don't know the most efficient way to go about this area, so I'm just going, <laughs> and, we'll, and we'll go from there. I hope I don't miss anything. be in here. Uh, it is interesting to note that um, um, this is a weird mechanic by the way. It is interesting to note that the little particle effects that appear on screen are all black and you know so yeah I have no idea what's going on. Um, so yeah we need to produce light in order to have this open. I'm not sure why. I mean, I guess um, I guess we could say that. Um, well, let's look what's in here before I theorize about it. So we have a silver pendant. We have a lot of pendants in this game. We have a pendant. We have the broken pendant. We have the silver pendant. The pendant I thought we would get from Rhea, but I guess we have to buy all of her. Um, we have to get all of our miracles. Silver pendant engraved with the crest of Artorias, one of the ancient treasures of Anarlando presented to Artorias for facing the abyss, effectively deflects the dark of the abyss, especially in its magic forms. Well, that's interesting because that makes me sound like Artor it makes it sound like Artorias came back to Anarlando. There's that scream. I don't know if you can hear it. I think that's uh, Dusk. But in any case, this is uh, Knight, or Knight Artorius' uh, uh, pendant, and it deflects dark, so if you use it, 
um, there's a period of time where Dark gets kind of rejected from you, which is going to be useful during the Manus fight. So I'm going to try to make it useful. Infinite uses, no durability. Um, but it makes sense that you would need to produce light to get to the thing that defends against Dark, I guess. I just, I don't know why. It's just kind of a weird mechanic to do in the middle of the game. But it makes sense. Um, yeah, so what's up here? I guess this gets us up to the top, which is nice. Again, I'm not, I'm not totally good with this area. I've only played it a handful of times. I always die at this part, though. Oh, and I don't disappoint. I guess I could have tried to use the silver pendant there. I always rush one, and then I can deal with one. But of course, I was just, uh, I was just staggering there. Uh, staggering, I mean, uh, stalling. Like I just sat there and didn't do anything. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Guess I haven't fought these guys enough to know all their attack patterns. Okay, we definitely don't want that. I'm trying to heal. Alright. Let's try this again. I don't have to don the paladin armor to kind of get through this area. Hmm, why did I not hit that guy? Huh, I was blocking. They don't stagger at all. They draw they drop large titanite and they drop their head. Hoping for the head more often. Although large titanite is good too. Ugh. Yeah, the I don't, I think I might have to change armor at this point during the game. It's you know really starting to affect the play. I, that took me forever to get up there. Alright. Get some humanity. That I don't really need right now. I 
All right. <laughs> Not graceful, but um, we did it. All right, so <clears throat> there's three chests here. Two of them have been opened and are empty. And the third one contains a sorcery. Yeah. Abyss sorcery discovered by an Ulysil sorcerer on the brink of madness. Fire giant dark orb. In contrast to standard soul sorceries, abyss sorceries are weighty and inflict physical damage. Perhaps human souls, because of their humanity, produce sorceries with more tangible presence. So, I mean, that's an indication that the sorceries, I mean, just in my opinion, that the sorceries are, that this was probably one of the first sorceries that, you know, produced any um, damage or whatever. Because it was created via humanity in the dark. So yeah, we see a third, I guess the, this would be the fourth sorcerer, but I mean, in that immediate vicinity, there was two and a third here. And uh, I think she's not hostile completely. I guess we could take a look at these close up. Many eyes. It's got like a, again, like a Lovecraft thing going on in the mouth. But yeah, and really long arms. So yeah, I'm guessing that uh, those um, the, the two sorcerers in here grab their dark orb and then the third one, for some unknown reason, who is sad, grabbed, um, didn't grab theirs. But we get a I'm sorry carving, which says head carved of arch trees by Goth in his imprisonment. Goth imparts an emotion to each and every completed carving, which helps him achieve personal enlightenment. When a head is disturbed, it speaks, reflecting the emotion conferred to it. This head says, I'm sorry. Have another look. Isn't that an expression of atonement? And that sounds kind of like Go's voice, too. So, <clears throat> maybe that's just him saying it. Um, okay, right, I need to go out here, is it? Yeah. This is good, I don't have to go all the way back around. Um, uh, I don't want to go that way. I want to go the normal way. If I guess I probably have to go up to get down, though. All right, maybe we can give Goth all of his uh, wood carvings back when we meet him. Okay, yeah, all right. may be powerful in groups, but... Alright. There's a chest here, which they uh, cleverly hid the... Uh, um, the chain in the, in the ground, 
because uh, people obviously learn that. So, uh, this certainly busts my idea. I mean, maybe not busts, but if Seath created these, I don't know why they're ancient. Also, I mean, Seath is ancient, probably, but he probably was born after a certain time. Like, he wasn't an original dragon. Uh, and we get a very good carving. Probably says the same thing. Yeah. Does it not appear quite jovial? We find these carvings in our Dark Souls 2 as well. Okay. Let's see if we can do this gauntlet. Oh, just too late, Rowan. Alright. There's always an area in here that I miss, I think. So hopefully I can find all the hidden walls here. We're getting closer to the part where uh, the abyss is. There's a lot more. Ooh, two Titanite shards. That's cool, like with the fire going and the lighting effects. It's pretty cool. Rubbish. You know what that says. Alright, so now I just need to kind of get through this area without dying. <laughs> um. If I had any sorceries on me, I guess I could try that. I feel like I'm just gonna die here, so I'm gonna go in here. Is no one gonna follow me? Come on. Don't get stuck on that thing. Drop anything? Ugh. <laughs> Didn't see she was winding up. I hate those dark orbs, they're certainly tough. Oh, and we hit the the uh, the item down. Um, I guess let's try going. Oops. All right. Not too shabby. I mean, shabby, but not too shabby. And then we get the Dark Fog Sorcery. Which I would have had to hit down or shoot with an arrow. I don't really know how it fell down. Maybe it's... Maybe a sorcery hit it. Abyss Sorcery discovered by a Nulisil Sorcerer. Although fog is, Dark Fog is, in theory, relatively close to humanity, it also happens to be a terrible poison for humans. Perhaps it reflects man's cruelty against his own. There was that scream again. Okay. 
All right. As they say, I always forget where the, uh, there's a hidden wall somewhere here. Maybe it has to be done by light, and that's what I was missing in the past. Facts, just because I don't need to, let's just walk around with this. Just in case there's something around here I'm missing. All right. Yeah, we can really start to see the buildings kind of crumbling over. There's a pathway up there, uh, there, and that actually goes up to where we were. Like the bonfires up there, and we walked all the way down here, and blah blah blah. And uh, there's a light there, and there's a elevator in that tower, which is cool. Um, yeah, we can see here with the fire and all that, um, this guy and a, uh, chest. <laughs> um, we'll go there in a second. Um, we have to jump over there from there. But there's a... Yeah, it is the light miracle. I knew it. I, I remember last time I played here, I, like, I hit that wall, like, five times. I think you can just jump across, but uh, this makes it a lot easier to get over here. Um, I think the first time I did it, I jumped from that extended board to that board and got over here. Um, but... We get a red Titanite chunk. I don't know why that's being hit away with a light-based... Um, hidden wall or illusion or whatever. But I guess maybe Artorias was doing that. I don't know. Alright. And uh, yeah, they don't hide it this time. That is, a, that is a mimic. By the way, with mimics, I haven't really shown, <clears throat> just because I'm going in for the kill here, if you wait a while, you can see them actually move, like snoring, breathing. Yeah, right there. It opens up and you can see inside. Let's see what's in this one. The Crest Key. Why that was in a mimic, I'm not really sure. All right. Crest key. Bent crest key. The grooves of the crest are enchanted. The door sealed with a powerful spell. Wonder what crest. Maybe Artorius is. Um, trying to think. Yeah, this is the... So this is how you'd come down and you would hit this to get the sorcery to come down, but I didn't need to. Um, and uh, yeah, then there's a item over here. Now, <clears throat> I read this really good post about uh, the Twin Humanities, which I've kind of mentioned a few times that you find Twin Humanities on women or things that have two of them. Um, but this is the one that either was a, uh, was a negligence on the part of the developers or whatever, but that is a Twin Humanities and that is definitely not a woman hollow. Again, I don't know if that's worth reading into or not, but uh, that's, yeah. All right, let's see here. So yeah, we're back. Yeah, Dusk is really going at it. And this is kind of a cool like um, thing. This is like the building toppled sideways, so like we're walking on the windows and stuff. And 
and through it we just see the dark, the abyss. So, I have a few minutes here. Um, I think I'm going to go back, though, and uh, instead of ending the episode, I'm going to go back, get my uh, refresh. I have to fight this group again, <laughs> though, which might be hard for me. Um, but get refilled with Estus so I can fight this silly uh, mini-boss, which is always tough for me and I suppose will be tougher with uh, with my build alright take that alright now I can take the shortcut Easy peasy. Um, I suppose we should probably send that back up. This part I don't like because of the dark orbs. <laughs> and these guys apparently. Alright. Okay. Well, that must be a dark fog. I don't see that one too often. All right. Drop your head. Alright, yeah, so there's a cool little mini boss here. Um, in this, like, cathedral area. There's these saints here that have the, the Ulusil Callists. And their heads are all cut off. Alright. It's an interesting guy. Not really sure what he's supposed to be ever. I never thought about it. Yeah, it's very durable. I suppose with like a sorcery or something is probably not too tough. But he does some damage, I know that. I remember that. If you get hit by one of these, you just. It's like half your life gone. I should probably heal. Just because maybe it's a one shot at this point with my build. Okay, it's not terrible. But that did him that did a pretty good amount of health. Oops. Yeah, he's definitely one that uh you do. Oops. <laughs> yeah, see, I feel like if I wasn't blocking, that would have uh, one shot me because that took all my stamina and that much health. Okay, here we go. This is the one I want. Whoa. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and he has a. I think a chance to drop a few different things. I think it's the... Oh, I got another humanity. I think it's um, the chain set. Hmm, but he also does leather gauntlets. I think we have that. We've read that. Yeah. We've re definitely read the chain ones. 
All right, but he doesn't respond. Not like it really matters. But we're now going into the depths of the, the, the abyss. Be wary of enemy. Oh, right. Forgot about this. It's a nice little ambush, I gotta say. Boy! Looks like this was probably a jail of Ulusil in some way. I think this place has a name. Um, but yeah, it looks like people broke out of these cells. Yeah, let's uh, let's just warp. Once they got to the DLC, they're like every bon every bon bonfire should have a warp. So let's go to the sanctuary really quick. Um, I'm gonna do Manus in another episode. Obviously, I'll probably just do this one episode because that one I uh, I definitely not gonna get that one. Uh, I'm never definitely not gonna kill him in one try. All right, now that we've killed Artorius and even CRN. I don't know if there's any different dialogues, but let's talk to Elizabeth. Struggling, are we? Hmm. If there's anything I can do. Hmm. Oh, I might have, I might have needed to talk to her when I had Artorius' soul. That's too bad. That's fine. Not long ago, I had another visitor. A human like thine self from a far away time. Chester. Only he was dreadfully odious. And I'm afraid that he is still amongst us. He wore a hat and a long black coat. I know him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it. Okay. <laughs> That's all I need to do. May the flame. All right. So first, we can see what this is called. Um, Ulysip, Ulysat. <laughs> Ulysseal Township Dungeon. Right. Alright. Um, but I'm also going to go talk to Chester and probably... No. I was going to say fight him. But he probably says something when we beat Manus or whatever. I think he might even go hollow and we have to fight him normally somehow. I don't remember. Uh, but... I'll I'll take care of everyone when I uh, when I go beat Gwen. Okay. But let's go talk to him because he told us to get a spring in our step, and we certainly did. Or I guess we got less of a spring in our step, and we put on the paladin armor and tanked a little bit of damage from Artorius. But, let's see what he has to say. Oh, for Juniper's sake, put some. <laughs> Did you really slay Knight Artorias? I'd heard the Abyss found him first, but even still, that's absolutely treacherous. Yes, magnificently so. <laughs> Believe it or not, Ulysseel has brought the abyss upon itself, fooled by that toothy serpent. They upturned the grave of primeval man and incited his ornery wrath. What could they have been thinking? But to you and I, it's all ancient history. You have to ask yourself, does it really matter? <laughs> so I wonder what Toothy Serpent he's referring to. I mean, it would, based on Primeval Man and the Dark and, and the Abyss, I would imagine it's Koth. So this probably gives you enough 
doubt in what Koth is trying to do, and maybe put some faith in what Frampt is trying to do. However, I mean, as there are multiple perspectives to everything, <clears throat> and, you know, not everyone's, like, always right, or, like, they might believe things, or just fall straight up lie to you, I think that, I don't know what they were trying to achieve by b d digging up Manus, the primeval man, um, um, but, uh, if, you know, maybe Koth had good intentions, or at least had certain intentions. I mean, I don't know where in the story we are, um, exactly. So, I mean, it's when Artorius dies, so it's certainly after Gwyn, whatever, but I don't know if it's before the flame is linked, or if the fire is fading, or if this is related to the fire fading. And so I don't know what Koth would have told them to do, and I don't know how they did it. Um, but like he said, they brought it on themselves. So, just interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what else do you have? Nothing new. So long. So long. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, I'm going to get my items in order and get my... Uh, I'm going to level up and uh, or at least try to do everything I need to do uh, before the next episode. Uh, but uh, I will see you then. Until then, have a good one.